we were watching a movie the other night mm, 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 and yes, we were something really really crazy happened <sighs> and it caused shane to say okay we need to do a video talking about this yeah and i was like yeah gotta do it <laughs> i said i think you're right so basically we were watching this movie um you know we had our good food everything was cool right fireplace <laughs> going and it was it was a lot of fun because i mean it, it was a good movie so anyway we were about halfway through the movie and then all of a sudden randomly right it wasn't even part of the movie they were not even characters who were even in the movie it was our first time yeah, it was like 45 minutes into the movie probably mm -hmm. roughly yeah we two you know the, these two guys and uh they're in this what like a like a tuxedo rental yeah it was something kind of equivalent to men's warehouse and, and what i gathered was they were about to get married because i was telling you i was like married yeah married right because we know what the real definition of marriage is but they were in there and i was like "Ooh!" as soon as i saw those guys i was like wait a minute i told you i said i think we're about to get ready to turn and this i off. was like no way man. yeah and sure enough she walks up to those guys the main character and then they mm -hmm. just start like going at it yeah like we're like smooch smooch time what is this yeah we were like oh my gosh i could not grab that uh controller yeah it, we use a playstation controller but which is our remote for the tv but so i grabbed that controller and i was just like <laughs> <laughs> we turned it off so fast and then we were mm -hmm. like dang we had to turn it off and then it got into a point where we were like, okay, this has to stop. Yeah. It seems like that kind of thing should be advertised somehow mm -hmm. ahead of time. So yeah. that you know one way or the other if it's in there, like and you can make the decision, okay, I'm okay with this. Or no, you know what, I don't want to expose my family to this. Right. It's not that you hate those kinds of people. But it's just that you know what you want to see and you know what you don't want to see. And you especially know what you want your kids to see and what you don't want your kids to see. And, uh, I mean, that's really all there is to it. You, you shouldn't be hoodwinked with that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. And then for people who don't have kids, because, I mean, you know, we don't right now. But, you know, even for those people, you know, you don't want certain things being fed into your spirit. Uh, because people don't understand what you watch, what you listen to. A lot of times spirits will try to transfer from that into you, right? It will start to try to affect your mind, affect your way of thinking, affect even sometimes what people do and what people subconsciously think is acceptable. And, you know, I was online probably about a few years ago and it was a really young person. They were probably a teenager or preteen. And, you know, there was a conversation that I was a part of in a chat. I, I think it was just some kind of video, but people were posting comments under the video and I was part of that post. And we were just talking about how, you know, some things pertaining to uh, some kind of LGBT activity and how wrong that was and how they're pretty much putting all of that in almost every newer movie. And then this younger person commented and they were like, well, if it's so bad, I mean, literally, why is it in every movie and every TV show? Yeah, well, you know why? Because of the people who run all the movies and all the TV shows. Yeah. And that's how they get you from, I don't know, when movies started, like the 20s or maybe even earlier, and people wouldn't even kiss. Like, I remember seeing Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, and like, they kissed at the end, and they were like, okay, now you have to get married. Like, that's how serious a kiss was in a movie back then. Oh, and yeah. now, and then you go to, from that to like, kissing all the time to like adulterous behavior to freaking lgbt stuff mm -hmm. just even characters to now lgbt's like making out right in the movie like all of a sudden hoodwink boom yeah yeah you're right because in earlier times you know it, it seems like it just got progressively more and more explicit <laughs> with the progressively right progressive <laughs> right exactly yeah right and that's where that term comes from because everything is getting progressively worse and worse all the time 
and they're constantly upping the ante on what they're showing people, uh, their programming. I think they really just push whatever they can get away with, right? And at so the time. at the time. Mm -hmm. And so I can only imagine what they would be doing 50 years from now if they're allowed to continue, mm -hmm. right? This, this huge thing with like the Epstein stuff. And I mean, God knows, Lord, please stop this before it happens. But man, I, I can just envision if they're allowed to keep going for 50 years from now, you'll see like kids doing things oh my gosh and it's i mean yeah dude oof yeah i i imagine i mean i don't even know if i can imagine how extreme these people will get if they are allowed the opportunity to get that way and some people may wonder well how how will they be allowed to do whatever they are allowed to do it as long as people are continuing to watch and support that kind of mm -hmm. stuff right but they see when people click off at a certain point uh, during a movie, right? And I, listen, I'm not saying that you have to do what we do, but I would encourage you to follow your spirit, right? What is your spirit leading you to do? Our spirit, it, it doesn't feel right at all. Having something like that continue to play out on our screen and our home. And we were talking about this and, and I'll let you elaborate a little bit more on the solution we thought of uh, so that you can avoid kind of clicking on a movie, you're watching it, and then all of a sudden some um, characters come out of the woodworks, they're LGBT and they're making out or doing whatever, and you didn't even expect it. So what was yeah. the solution you got? Yeah, I know. I think it should just be a label, right? There's like G and PG and PG-13 and R and whatever else there is. I don't know. But it should just be um, like a separate label for that you know, like LGBT um, and maybe different levels, right? Because it's like, okay, you see a movie like Hitch or something yes. where there's like, okay, yes, there's a gay person in it, but he's not acting on and engaging in, you know, anti-biblical activities. Exactly. He, he just exists. Yeah, I think you're absolutely right about having the rating system in place so that people are not clicking on these movies or videos and then it's surprise right and you can yeah. have that with anything right you can have, you can a have that with heterosexual um you know like if, if you have people <laughs> engaging in sexual acts you know that that should probably be mentioned somewhere on the box or or a warning label or or anything i mean that's that's definitely a thing too whether they're gay or not Mm -hmm. you know and yeah i completely agree with that so i think that the thing is you know when we're seeing stuff like this we don't just become immune to it we speak out right we continue to speak out about it and say that this is not acceptable and then the more people who do that the more they realize they can't continue to get away with this right